You're listening to By Way of the Sea, an 11-part original audio drama created by Aralore Studios in collaboration with Stay Busy. This week's cover art was created by the artist Astrild, with episode sponsorship by The Snow Family. Episode 1, The Trunk. I see you, little purple flower, bobbing back and forth. I wonder, do you see me? Hmm, let's see. If I tuck you right here in my hair, I can only keep you for a day. But if I draw you... There. Now I can keep you for today and for always. Careful, careful. I'm not as young as I once was. And you are not as old as you seemingly act. I wish I were acting. This last trip was more than I had prepared for. It's been a few weeks since I saw those moonbeam eyes of yours. How have you been holding up? Quite well, thank you. I've missed you, Father. Have you been off exploring more? Of course not. Then what is this flower? (laughs) Hmm, why, it is a... Violetta Floris Magnificus. It means magnificent purple flower. I know what it means. It means you haven't been listening to a word I've said. And I imagine our quarters are not orderly and kept like I asked either. Honestly, sometimes I wonder if... On the contrary. All my chores are done, the shop is tidied, and I still had time to venture on my own. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not a child anymore. I know it's hard to believe, but... I'm well aware of your changing state. Now... Help me with my things. I need to get the carriage back to the coroner before sundown. Yes, Father. I was expecting new fabric. Did they not have what they promised? Is it in the trunk? No, Elena, the trunk is... uh... No. It is not. Was the trade not successful? Did they not like my garments? I made them all exactly to the specifications. Uh, No, no, dear, it isn't that. Why don't you sit down? I was not on a trade. Not on a trade? (laughs) What do you mean? You took the dresses. Yes. I did. And they sold at market. Just as they always have. You are very talented with the needle. Everyone knows it, from here to the Hodel River. Then I'm not sure I understand. Elena, my love, I have not been forthcoming with you. Not for many months now. Well, perhaps not ever. Not when it comes to your mother. It's hard to speak of her. It always has been. I know it is hard, Father. But the sisters say she is now in the kingdom of God. Is that not a good thing? Not if it is the same God who took her from me, from us. It was the fever who took her. No. It was me. I took her. From you, from her home, from this earth. You did no such thing. Please, just let me... Let me talk. I never told you this, and I had hoped I would never have to. Living with the absence of your mother has been hard enough, but to know... to know it was your father who killed her. Father! She was engaged. Her parents, they had arranged for her to wed a man, a duke of some kind. I don't remember all the details, only that the first time I saw her, I knew I was meant to spend the rest of my life by her side. And I told her such. (laughs) I wish you could have seen the way her eyes lit up. 
like yours. Like moonbeams piercing through the darkness of night. I knew in that moment. And she knew too. When she told her parents they forbade her to ever see me again. I was just the son of a farmer. Beneath her in every way. What do you mean, beneath her? Her father was a count. She was born a comtesse, bound to become a duchess. Destined for greatness. She had every need of hers ready to be met, not only by her parents, but by her future husband. She had everything waiting for her. And I stole it all when I brought her here. <laughs> Mother was a comtesse. That's why we came here. She wanted to leave it all behind. She wanted love. She wanted life. A life she never got to live. Because of me. Because I stole her from her path. She'd still be alive if she'd married the Duke. But then she would have never known love. And I wouldn't have you. What good have I brought you? You are now the daughter of a tailor when you could have been a lady, the daughter of a duke. I am the daughter of a man who loves with all his heart. I know love because of you. I'm afraid love will never be enough. It always has been. Elena. Yes? The trunk. Open it. And now they are yours. <laughs> Can you imagine? Me in town in a lady's gown. <laughs> you wouldn't be wearing it in town. Oh, of course not. I couldn't imagine ever getting these dirty. They are beautiful. You never told me that she... My darling Moonbeam. What is it? I received word a few months back that your grandmother was ill. She wanted to make peace with your mother, to offer forgiveness and to see her one last time. I never told her of her passing. I couldn't. Father, she died when I was two. All this time, they thought she was alive? It's more than that. They never knew about you either. Your mother was scared of what they might do to her, to you. She couldn't bear the thought of them taking you hiding you, or worse. A bastard child would ruin the family name and imprison you to a life of shame. We didn't want that for you. Father. I promised her. I held her hand and promised her that I would give you a life free of shame and hardship, a life filled with experience and adventure and love. And you have. No. No, Elena, I have given you a needle and thread to piece together a life that was never your own. I have locked you behind the walls of this church, scared to ever let you face a world that is so hateful and ignorant, hoping no one would ever learn the truth of who you really are and the life I stole from you. I have imprisoned you here because of my own fear, my own selfishness. I don't see it that way. The rest of the world does. I don't care what the world thinks. You need to. You need to learn to think like them, to act like them, to be like them. Why would I... To fit in. To fit into your new home. In your new life. This is my life, Father. Having a few fancy dresses doesn't change who I am. This isn't about the dresses. You are the last living heir to your family's legacy. It has all been entailed to you. It is now your duty. No, no, no. They... They are not my family. You are my family. It is your duty to carry on the family name. Carry on? Upon my visit to her, your grandmother, she arranged your marriage. What? 
with my blessing. No. You cannot accept the land and wealth without being married without a husband. I don't want a husband. Once you are wed, he will take ownership of the land. Father, please, please listen to me. And when you give him a child, your son will carry on your blood, your wealth. It isn't my wealth. That isn't my life. It is your life. It is the life you were destined to have. This is not destiny. And this is not what Mother wanted. A A life without shame, without hardship. I cannot give you that. I can only give you struggle. You give me... A last name that will keep you below your rightful station. This is not you. This is not you talking. Did she tell you this? My grandmother, did she make you do this? You have to change her mind. She is dead, Elena. But before she passed, she gave her word and her honor. The arrangements have already been made. You leave tomorrow. Leave? For where? A ship's passage has been secured to Aretta. A ship? You will travel to your husband. In many weeks' time after you arrive, you will be wed. And then it will be his choice if together you return or if you stay. Please don't do this. Please, Father. I'm begging you. I'm on my knees. I'll stop venturing into the woods. I'll I'll make more dresses. I'll travel to market for you. Elena. This is my home. You are my home. There is nothing I can do. No. There is nothing you will do. I am not my mother. I am not a comtesse. If only you knew how alike you are. Thank you for listening to Aralore Studios by Way of the Sea, with vocal talent by Brenna Patzer as Elena and Seth Rosenke as Nils. Aralore Studios is a family-owned and female-led storytelling brand and production company dedicated to creating connections through original characters and stories inspired by eras gone by. With a mission to spotlight visual and performing artists through stories that showcase the strength of the human spirit, Aralore seeks to create a safe place and a celebrated stage for creative collaboration in the arts. For more information about Aralore, please visit aralorestudios.xyz. Stay Busy is transforming the business card industry into a digital, more sustainable entity. For more information about our collaboration partner, please visit staybusy.com.